Hey folks and welcome back. Let's take a moment and just make sure I've got the uh, circuit put back together the way it should be. I've already confirmed all of the uh, capacitor values. I had one capacitor missing and it's located right here. The 500 picofarad cap off of the uh, second IF transformer that uh, actually acts as a filter and uh, pushes the uh, IF frequency to ground. So uh, let's do some DC resistance measurements and just make certain that um, looking at the schematic we've got this thing put back together the way it should be. So um, I'm just hoping to be within 10% uh, of the uh, original values. Most of these were anywhere from uh, 50 to 200% high. We'll start with the uh, 56 tube and do some measurements from that point out. And uh, you can see I've got the uh, circuit highlighted that we'll be measuring here, going from the grid to ground. And you can see I'm reading about 250 ohms. This is part number 63, 290. And it was originally called out at 260. Again, I went back with uh, 250K. We'll move over to the 57 tube, which is adjacent here to the 56. You can see, if that's showing up, I've got the uh, plate color-coded in red. So we want to go from the cathode to ground. I'll just leave my ground connection here. Pin 2, 3, 4, 5, and of course we're just testing through this resistor right here. And you can see we're just shy of 5K at 4.96, and that's correct. This was actually called out at uh, 5.4K. And again, you can see I went back with a uh, 5K resistor. Let's move along over to the uh, 58 tube and uh, check the uh, cathode resistor there as well. Alright, the 58T resides here. You can't see that probably, but pins 2, 3, 4, and 5. 4 and 5 are tied together. We can just attach here. And uh, you can see we're spot on. The uh, part number calls this out at 100 ohms, and that's what we have here. Let's check resistors, what, 63291, and uh, we'll go from the plate of the 56 to the uh, plate of the 58, and you can see we're reading uh, about 30.4K. Uh, Again, we're going through the uh, IF transformer as well, but that's only about, uh, I think, 12 ohms of DC resistance. So that resistor is good. It's called out on the uh, schematic at what, 29K and I replaced it with a uh, 30K. So let's check the rest of the uh, B plus rail. You'll see I've got it highlighted down to my uh, electrolytic capacitors here. We should read the same DC resistance. And you can see that is the case. So um, we're, we've got continuity between those points, as we should. So while we're here, you'll notice I've got some things highlighted in orange. The uh, voltage divider, the 215K resistors. If we check at this junction point, we should read the same, around 45K. And you can see that's the case. In addition, if you follow the uh, B-plus lines up to uh, grid number 2, pin number 3 of the uh, 57 tube and the 58 tube, we should read the same. And you can see we're good there. And we're good here. So if you're following along here, 45K, I can actually leave my uh, meter attached there to a grid number two, pin three, and actually uh, move my lead to ground and check off the uh, other side of the uh, 15K resistor here. 
going to uh, chassis ground. So this is what we're actually uh, reading right now. So you can see we're good there as well. And if you look back at the schematic highlighted in green, I've got the uh, center tap lead, which is this lead right here going back to this terminal strip. Easy to identify. You can see the new 250 ohm resistor that I put in place. So we can just measure across here just to make certain that we're good there and we are. Again, the uh, 250 ohm resistor sits on the uh, low side of the ground and uh, we'll do the voltage divider math in an upcoming uh, video. But that creates the uh, bias voltage, the negative bias voltage over to the uh, 59 tube along with another dropping resistor. And if you look at what I have highlighted here, we're looking for a, a 1 meg resistor that I placed in there for the uh, 63, what, 293. It was called out at uh, 990K, and I uh, placed uh, two, 2 meg resistors there in parallel. So we can uh, test between the uh, plates or diodes there on the uh, 2A6 back to what grid number three pin number four of the uh, 57 so two three four and you can see that we're rating uh, right at our one meg so uh, we're good there as well so if you look at what i have highlighted in orange you'll see another resistor here off of the uh, plates or diodes there, the 2A6 back to ground, so I can just simply move this lead back to ground and uh, we can read through that. That's uh, part number 63295, called out at 120K on the uh, schematic and I went back with a uh, 100K and a 20K in series with each other. And if you look at the other resistor there, the cathode resistor, called out at uh, 5.4K, I went back with the 5K. I can actually just move the leads here from the uh, diodes back down to the cathode, pin number 5. And uh, we should read around 5K, because that's what I uh, placed in there in lieu of the uh, 5400. Again, if the uh, cathode resistors create an issue, we'll uh, bump those up. But I think we'll be just fine. We're less than 10% uh, from the uh, original called out value. Okay, here we're going to check resistor 63296 running from the uh, plate of the uh, 2A6 back over to uh, grid number 2. In number three, and uh, you can see I'm reading uh, right at uh, 200k, and uh, that's what I should have. The original design was 220k, and I went back with uh, 200k, so I should be able to remove this lead and go back over to the uh, B plus rail here on the terminal strip and read the same DC resistance. You can see they're tied in together. And lastly, if you see what I have highlighted there in green, we're going to just check the uh, dropping resistor there for the uh, bias of the uh, 59 tube. And you, you can see my connection points there. We're just reading across this resistor here. And um, you can see we're spot on at uh, right at 500k, the original design. 490k. So we're good there. Anyway, I hope you uh, found this demonstration helpful. It's really aimed at folks that are new into the hobby, not experienced uh, restores or repairmen, but uh, just shows simply how uh, DC resistance measurements can uh, be your friend. And hopefully when it comes time to uh, bring this up, I don't have any surprises, but uh, heck, you never know. If so, we'll deal with them. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. 
you guys uh, saw the uh, loudspeaker in a uh, previous video. It's got a lot of uh, rust on the uh, frame and some chewing here on the output transformer, but it tests good. I'm going to get this cleaned up this week and uh, try to get it back in the uh, receiver. And then I think we'll be at a point where we can uh, bring this thing up and uh, see if it will play again. Appreciate you guys watching the uh, series on the Xena 707. Everyone out there, uh, take care. Stay well.